For the first time, a hurricane has been detected in Earth's upper atmosphere. In 2014, satellites recorded a huge flowing swirl of plasma extending high into the magnetosphere that lasted for hours before dispersing. Although we've never seen anything like this before, its detection suggests that space hurricanes, as they are known, could be a common planetary phenomenon. Scientists have spotted what they're calling a space hurricane spinning above the North Pole, according to a new study. The roughly 600-mile-wide swirling mass of plasma was located several hundred miles above the North Pole and rained electrons instead of water, according to the study. Until now, it was uncertain that space hurricanes even existed, so to prove this with such a striking observation is incredible. Hurricanes in Earth's lower atmosphere are common, powerful, rotating weather systems around a relatively calm center, accompanied by strong winds and lashing rain that can cause vast amounts of damage in a very short time. The space hurricane spotted by the research team in Earth's ionosphere was spinning in a counterclockwise direction, had multiple spiral arms, and lasted almost eight hours, before gradually breaking down. In many ways, this space hurricane resembles the hurricanes we are familiar with down here in the Earth's lower atmosphere. Tropical storms are associated with huge amounts of energy, and these space hurricanes must be created by unusually large and rapid transfer of solar wind energy and charged particles into the Earth's upper atmosphere. Hurricanes like those we have here on Earth have also been seen in the lower atmospheres of Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, while enormous solar tornadoes have been seen in the atmosphere of the Sun also. However, the existence of space hurricanes in the upper atmosphere of planets had not been detected before. We know that reconnecting magnetic field lines can transfer solar wind energy into the magnetosphere and ionosphere, so the team modeled this process and found that a reconnecting interplanetary magnetic field can produce the features they observed in the space hurricane, even when the solar wind is low. In fact, the low solar wind might be key, it allows for more efficient magnetic reconnection. In addition, according to the study, the fact that the space hurricane occurred during a period of low geomagnetic activity suggests they could be more relatively common within our solar system and beyond. This highlights the importance of improved monitoring of space weather, which can disrupt GPS systems, said space physicist and first author, King He Zhang of Shandong University.